Well, hello there. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Marty Whitney, and I'm with Artitude Adjustment. I teach fun art, not fine art. And if you are going to be coming in, in just a minute, I'm going to take care of my computer so I can see all your comments when it pops up. When it decides to pop up. So it does in a second. It will come up in just a second. It's a little, uh, little tardy today. I was so proud of myself. My microphone's plugged in, so you should be able to, you should be able to um, hear me okay. Uh, this will happen in just a moment, I assure you. Give me just a second to plug this up. Uh, it always comes up in a little box and it says now. Marty Whitney is live now and I should be able to see you as you make a comment. Hey Bonnie, I'm so glad you're here today and we're going to get started. Um, without any hesitation. Uh, nothing's going to crash down on me today. And I feel so organized because I'm getting ready for a big class tonight. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I've got it all organized. So uh, I feel like I'm ready for uh, the class. Now this is what we're, oh, let me show you what we're going to be doing in the class tonight. Uh, I've got two projects for them. And one involves alcohol inks, and the other one involves acrylic paints. How crazy is that? Let me show you what it is. These are the ornaments that we're going to be making out of alcohol inks. Uh, I was able to find these bows already bow, uh, already tied, um, and they just kind of fit in with a what do you call it? Not tiger eye, but uh, kind of a, mm, 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 can't think of the word right now, but it kind of ties in with that uh, tiger eye theme. And then I've got some others here. I just pulled off the top of the ornament. Um, but these will not be on there until uh, they put their ribbon on there. So these all turned out so pretty. And so they're going to produce one of these, and then they will, uh, this one has a ribbon on it. I learned doing this that it's best to tie the ribbon and not put it through the top of the ornament uh, tool thing. The other thing we're going to be doing is, uh, and it's all kind of timed, i got to do it so that uh, everybody understands uh, we're working on a working on a, with a little bit of a time problem. Uh, this is a wooden spoon, duh. And um, what we're going to be doing with the spoon is painting the back of it, putting an embellishment and ribbon on there, and we'll also be painting it with stripes. And then on the other side, uh, it can be used to say "Eat, drink, and be merry." So. I have some real good students. They love prog uh, they love for me to experiment with them. We've never done this project before. And the, the project that we're doing this week is um, on my Facebook Lives is uh, working with gingerbread men. And we're doing a full-size apron. If you have any questions about any of this, just let me know. And I'm going to fix the, uh, my picture so that you can see uh, me as well as the uh, project. And that makes it a little bit easier for me to be in that little bitty hole. So, makes me look little. So anyway, this is what we've been painting all week long. And uh, I also yesterday started a border on it. Um, my classes on Facebook Live are Monday through Friday, and on Friday I introduce a new subject um, or the new project for the next week. 
And so um, I'm excited, but tomorrow I'll tell you what we're going to be doing the next week. And I'm trying to keep it um, mm -hmm, a little bit of a Christmas theme. But we'll be uh, like tonight. Tonight is uh, kind of a Christmassy theme, and I don't do that very often. Uh, sometimes I'll do it like during, uh, let me see, Valentine's uh, when I have classes or um, stuff like that. Now, I put a plastic sheet in between um, the pocket and the apron just so that there, was no, there would be no bleed through. So I just cut one of our cutting boards in half and did that. I can take it out. Uh, I've got another uh, cutting board underneath this because I'm going to be painting a couple of uh, peppermint sticks here. So the first thing I'm going to do is find a good brush. I think I'll use this brush over here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, and I'm going to, uh, let me see if there was anything else I wanted to tell you about that. What I did was I used a white charcoal pencil to make my drawing because it's a black. This is not a real good apron to paint. I found out after I started, I usually paint on something that is a little more substantial, like a canvas. So, um, and all I'm going to be doing is just painting this. Oh, the reason why this isn't good, you're going to see that the paint just is absorbed very fast into the fabric, and then i got to make another. I'll have to make another pass again uh, to get some color into uh, this. But it's going to work out fine, and it's going to be a nice gift. I always tell people, don't worry about it. Just do it. Um, you know, we'll see what happens, but there's nothing wrong with this. Um, so anyway, I always begin the pro, uh, my projects on a Monday and finish them on a Friday. Hi. I'm working in our activity room at Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort in Webster, Florida. Uh, my husband and I full-time in our RV, and we're here for the winter months. Our home, not really because of where our home is, but we travel full-time. I teach uh, a yeah, attitude adjustment at RV rallies, and I also teach um, at RV manufacturer rallies and uh, are at private resorts. And when we stay here, um, this is our base uh, for during the winter. Oh, it's not a good brush for this. Uh, let me know if you, if if I'm sometimes I move and you're not able to see what I'm doing. It's not intentional, but anyway, uh, we've been doing this for about nine. Uh, excuse me, we've been full time RVers for about twelve years. That means we sold our house and everything in it to become. Uh, kind of nomadic, uh, kind of a nomadic lifestyle, and we enjoy it very much. We don't miss, uh, uh, I miss some things, you know, sometimes, but I can't think of what anything I, I miss right now because uh, I just have a good time, and my classes are a lot of fun. Um, the one that I have tonight, I have a program plan for them as well as what we're going to be doing. And uh, I tell jokes. We have laugh yoga. I have wine aerobics if they have wine. And I pretty well try to release, remove any stress that they feel about painting. Uh, because sometimes people come in here and guess what they well, guess what the first thing they say is, I like a nice to see you, howdy gal. And uh, it's good to see both of you. Um, we have a new person. I've never met Bonnie uh, on my lives. So I'm real glad you're here and I hope I can uh, show you something. 
So I decided, uh, Leka and PJ, that I would put um, a couple of peppermint sticks. Up at the top, I love the border. The border's staying. Oops, why'd I do that? Um, the border's staying, but I think it needed something up in the top of the apron. Um, we'll see. We either do it again or we won't ever do it again. Well, we'll have to see. I have time to do it because today is Thursday and tomorrow is when I introduce a new project. So. Anyway, tonight is my class, PJ. You'll be missed, and I just... <laughs> Everybody brings everything different. You know, I... Um, PJ will tell you that some people have wine, some people have water. They have drink, bring their uh, bottles of water. They bring coffee. Uh, they bring Cokes, um, so whatever they want is what they can have. So it's just a fun class, um, and I miss it whenever PJ isn't here because she was always an inspiration when I had the class. So now she's got to be an inspiration from a distance. That little, I'm, you know what I do with my marker. I can see it happening over here on this this one right here. It's a kind of an, kind of an odd looking peppermint stick over there. This one made the cut over here. Oh, Powerade. That's why. Yeah, all super women drink Powerade. Yep, yep, yep. So um, I usually have water. Uh, and people bring snacks um, to share. So usually at Christmas, we got some good snacks. And I'm going to have to um, take care of getting mine because I forgot all about it. And I've been setting up all day long for this class. Uh, toward the end of this, I'll show you what we're doing tonight because I don't, y'all weren't on here when I showed it, I don't think. Tell me in the notes if uh, you saw our project because. It's going to be a lot of fun. I already have what we're going to be. Well, I haven't finished it, but because um, I'm going to do it next week. Um, but I've been I've been saving the items that we're going to paint next week for I know two years. I had to get a number of them. Bef and that's what I'm going to have to say is I only have I like about twelve of these items. After 12, the class is cut off. That'll make them move. They wait till the last minute to sign up sometimes, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, where am I going to get all this stuff when they wait to sign up? But it worked out real good today, and I have a full class tonight. A um, couple of new people. But um, we do have uh, one of my favorites is... Um, 88-year-old Mrs. Lynette Kroon, and she is from, mm, mm, mm. It, have you ever heard, like, have you ever heard of um, Robersonville in North Carolina or South Carolina? I always get it wrong. But anyway, she's 88 years old. She wouldn't miss this class for anything. And uh, her daughter-in-law and son have taken their coach to uh, the diesel place in Ocala, Florida. So she's batching it tonight. And so she's got more help than she knows what to do with. Okay, see, that is not meeting my approval. Um, Leica, I don't have any plans Oh, North Carolina. Thank you, PJ. Well, that's where the Mrs. That's where the Crooms are from, and um, nice little town. I've heard. 
was a tobacco agricultural town at one time. Now, um, I don't have scheduled any uh, rallies yet in Raleigh. Uh, I never know. I never know. I try to plan. I've got uh, February and March is really booked, and then I have uh, one in uh, that's, and those are all in Florida. One in Sarasota, and one in Lakeland, one in, I'm forgetting, so I'll have to look back, but I get invitations, and I'll, or if, I, oh, I'm one at Lazy Days in Tampa. If you've never been to Lazy Days, and you wouldn't have any reason to, unless you were an RVer. Um, Lazy Days is like a place where a lot of people have rallies because it can handle a big, you know, hundreds of people. And feed them in lots of good restaurants in Tampa, Florida. It's in a little town called Sefner. And uh, so a lot of people buy their RVs at Lazy Days, one word, and you could look it up. They probably sell you a motorhome on the phone if you aren't careful. So watch out. They're kind of aggressive. Aren't they, PJ? Now, we've never bought one from them, but... Uh, but we've heard. Now... Tonight, um, I need to let that dry, and I need to make a little cleanup over here. I know y'all don't like that, but it's all going to be good, and I will be putting... <laughs> I'm going to have to wait and see what I'm going to do with that ribbon, because it... I don't want it to be um, green or gold. Oh, you know what I decided? I like the border. Uh, how can I do this so you could see it? I feel like saying, clean up on aisle six. Um, okay, let me just wash out these brushes for just a second, and I'll continue on. Yeah, this is a, a cute project. I'm, I'm happy with the project. I would do it again. I would make a gift, but I wanted to show you what it looks like whenever it bleeds through. See, if I hadn't had my mat down there, it just would bleed through. Not a big deal, but I don't like it. Uh, I had a particular brush that I used yesterday. Wouldn't you know it? I've, I think it's... I think it's this one. See, I'd have to go back in yesterday and see what color my brush was. Uh, sometimes I need glasses, sometimes I don't. I think I'm going to use... Nope. I thought it was a brush that fell on the floor. Isn't that the way it usually goes? I think it's this one. And I'm going to do curly cues all over it. Somebody told me. They said... I think that's a dynamic idea, so here we go. Yep, that's the brush I was using. I put everything away. I'm not the only one that uses this room. Uh, at nighttime, there are people who play cards in here. And I think I've told you about them before. Remember, they ate the, they, they ate the Reese's peanut butter cups, all of them. 
Somebody put a big old, big old bag of Reese's in here. Turn that a little bit. Now, how do you how do you just pick out all the Reese's that you want? And then there's a fella here, PJ. It's Jake who loves pe Reese's peanut butter. Uh, he doesn't. Um, well, he got all the Reese's peanut butter kisses, I guess, because people were complaining. There's this big old can of candy, so they've gotten in the habit of eating it. And I said to them, please replenish all the candy in the can uh, instead of just eating it all the time. You don't need it. I know. So anyway, that's a big laugh there. Um, they said, you are joking, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm not joking. If you eat all the Reese's peanut butter pieces, you pick, pick, just get it back. Okay, you can see what I'm doing. It's a continuation of what we've got at the bottom of the apron. And I thought I was going to model this today, remember? I'm not. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. You'll be so much happier if I do. So we're continuing with this border. All I'm doing is a scallop with my white acrylic paint. Um, sometimes people will say, why aren't you using fabric paint? I could have. I've, I've got all these colors in fabric paint. Uh, I've done some things lately with acrylic. and yeah, They work out fine. Uh, we do fabric painting classes, and they've worked out fine for that. PJ did a beautiful blouse one day, didn't you? Uh, in the fabric painting class, uh, I still have mine because I. It's a pretty blouse. Uh, we use a. Let me see what is it. It's uh, if you ever go to order this, you might write this down because um, it's nice to be painted on. It's a Tri-Mountain blouse. They come in many, many, many different colors. And uh, the nice thing about them, I know you noticed I wasn't a teenager. Uh, the nice thing about them is that they're nice for ladies uh, because they are three-quarter length sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're three-quarter length sleeve and they're v-neck very complimentary to those who are not um, mm, teenagers anymore but it was a great class we have class pictures one day I'll have to show you the picture of our classes and uh, tomorrow I will post a picture of our class in fact I thought about doing um, I thought about doing a um, PJ I know you do and you should get to work on it maybe I'll just send you another design though so hold up on that uh, uh, oh the, the sizes for these blouses though there's quite a few different sizes so no matter if you are petite or if you are um, a missy or more than a missy you can find your size now uh, but I use speedball fabric paint for a lot of the fabric classes. It just wasn't necessary for this one. Um, the um, speedball ink is good for setting with heat. So you could, um, you know, uh, after, after I do this, I'm gonna heat set this. But I'm not gonna wash it for a while. Um, Heaven knows I might not cook for a while. I, I cook. I cook. We cook real 
That's it, well endowed. Yes, it is. So, now she's saying that about herself, but she isn't that well, in, she isn't that big. Um, there was something I was going to tell you. What was it? Um, one, we've got a, several classes coming up I'm looking forward to teaching, and I may do it on a live one week. Um, I have the one in January is going to be kind of neat. I told you I'd ordered like, um, or I have been holding on to stuff for two years, and that doesn't mean I'm a hoarder, although I do collect things until I have enough for a class. And my husband thinks I'm saving them for me. I know, and I keep telling him, they're not for me. Yes, class pictures. We have class pictures always. But another, another really good class picture that we had was the time that we um, made silk scarves, or we painted silk scarves. And they were beautiful, just beautiful. Uh, I think you have one of those, don't you, PJ? I've put them on my Kentucky Derby hat. I did not go to I did not go to Louisville for. We watched it here, and I had on my hat. Uh, but we have. Uh, oh, we always have class pictures afterward. Now tonight, I always try to do something different in my program. Tonight. I'm going to ask people a question and put it on, um, I think, a uh, Facebook story. Have y'all ever done that? It really is fun and it's nice. Um, I'm the only one that's putting pictures of cows and horses on there. Uh, we have a resident horse, a little Welsh pony from the ranch next door, and he comes up for uh, carrots and peppermints. I think I told you that before, but Toby is, he can be a pest because you might be sitting out on your patio at, um, in the evening, and Toby comes up and starts winning, like, get up and get me a carrot. We give him apples. I want him to have apples and carrots in his diet. Uh, I'd say that we're taking better care of him than the rancher is next door. He was a little Welsh pony, and his owner died, and he was given, instead of them making whatever they do with horses when they die, instead of them killing him, they allowed him to go live with this farmer who has uh, black Angus cattle. So that was really, a, that's a nice ending to a story. Uh, I feel sorry for him because he doesn't have any girl horses over there. Uh, he's wild, but he will let us feed him. Uh, it's just started raining here. <sighs> My watch said it wasn't going to rain. Sending it back. I know. I wasn't going to say that. I was not going to say that. Glue. Yeah. In fact, we want to, you know, we would love to, to talk to the rancher about letting us have, a, have his, a farrier come out and take care of his, his feet. He needs a manicure very bad. Um, oh, you know what? I just looked up and I see how long we've been on here. Give me 30 more seconds because I want to tell you how much I appreciate y'all being here today. I'm so glad that I'm so glad you're here. Um, I said I was going to show you what we're doing tonight, PJ, because you weren't here, I don't think. My embellishment is coming unembellished. Uh, this is what we are painting tonight. 
Um, it's a little red truck with a Christmas tree and candy stripes and eat, drink, and be merry. We did this, didn't we? Well, they're doing it tonight. And they are also doing this one. Remember this one? Yep. And a bath in... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he needs... We would... We would love to have a curry comb, but he probably wouldn't sit still. Yesterday, he would, took a bath in a big old sand pile, and I'm sure that gave him some relief. But I wanted to say thank you so much for being here. It's a great day to have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow where I'm going to show you a um, new project and a finished project. So I'll be modeling for you tomorrow. You won't want to miss out on that. So let me, let me say goodbye the right way. So uh, y'all have a nice evening. And uh, do something nice for someone. We are so blessed. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.